Itamar Rabinovich, a former Israeli ambassador to the U.S. and now the president of the Israel Foundation in Washington and Tel Aviv. I remember talking to you a year ago and you were optimistic in terms of a two-state solution. Can you still be optimistic? Uh, I wouldn't define it necessarily as optimistic. First of all, I'm a believer. I think it's, uh, it's important. And for, for an Israeli, first and foremost, from an Israeli perspective, it's uh, not just because it's just or required by international law, international original pressure, but because it's good for Israel to separate from the Palestinians and for them to have their own state. So uh, it, it's been a tough year for, for, for the two-state solution because of developments in the United States, among the Palestinians, in the region, in Israel itself. I think in, I can be a bit more optimistic because in the past few weeks there's been uh, two positive developments. One is that um, uh, Palestinian Authority of Fatah and Hamas in Gaza uh, are in a process of reconciliation, not perfect, but better than what we had known for some years now. And secondly, in Israel, uh, this week, for the first time, the polls show that the uh, center-left camp, the Israelis who believe in a two-state solution, um, are slightly uh, ahead of uh, the right wing, the people who don't necessarily or do not support a two-state solution. And yet, in terms of, uh, of withdrawing from territory, it was a right winger, Ariel Sharon, who uh, did something which, which no uh, center-left politician was able the, to do. It's always easier. I mean, I was a peace negotiator for a center-left government, and it's always difficult for the center-left to make concessions and to be denounced by the right. If you're a right winger and, and you make concessions, the left supports you and the right wing has a hard time denouncing you. Can you see that happening with Netanyahu? Mm, no, I don't think that Netanyahu... By the way, Netanyahu himself left uh, Hebron uh, in 96 and signed in 1998 the Y Plantation Agreement that was never implemented, but he signed one for 13% additional withdrawal in the West Bank. But uh, I don't think he's, uh, he wants to, to make uh, withdrawals. But Menachem Begin yeah. is the right-wing Israeli leader who withdrew from, from the Sinai. So uh, that's, why, uh, uh, that's why it's important uh, for center-left leaders, uh, if they come to power, to have a wider coalition, to have elements from the right-wing, to have orthodox politicians a final question, very briefly. Um, what will the Iran factor be in, in this future that uh, you're hoping for? I'm, I'm afraid negative as far as Iran is concerned. They will try to disrupt, as they did in the past. Positive in terms of the region. The, region, the reason that the Gulfis support uh, the deal and are willing to have relations under the table with Israel is primarily their concern with Iran. Tamar Rabinovich, thank you very much indeed for you. You're very welcome.